Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. Have you ever heard the expression, the one who finds happiness is the one who doesn't make excuses? And you know what? When you think about that, it is true. When we look around, we can look around and find an excuse to not do just about anything in life. And when it comes to walking in obedience to God, we can really get caught up in excuses to not be obedient. When God called Moses to free the Israelites, Moses offered yet another excuse in Exodus 4, verses 1 through 9. But Moses protested again. What if they won't believe me or listen to me? What if they say, the Lord never appeared to you? Then the Lord asked him, what is that in your hand? A shepherd's staff, Moses replied. Throw it down on the ground, the Lord told him. So Moses threw down the staff and it turned into a snake. Moses jumped back. And the Lord told Moses, reach out and grab its tail. I would not have done that. So Moses reached out, grabbed it, and it turned back into a shepherd's staff in his hand. Perform this sign, the Lord told him, then they will believe that the Lord, the God of their ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob really has appeared to you. Then the Lord asked Moses to do a couple more things and demonstrated his power to Moses. Now, initially Moses said, Lord, they're not going to believe me. They're not going to listen to me. They're not going to do what I tell them to do. So God said, let me tell you something. I am going to work through you. Now, sometimes I've used that very same excuse when it comes to telling other people about a life-changing relationship with Jesus. I, I sense the Lord leading me or prompting me to talk to somebody about Jesus, yet I say to myself, uh, they're probably not going to listen to me. They're, they're not really going to believe me. Have you done that as well? In this passage, God reminds Moses and he reminds us that power is not in our words. The power of faith comes through God alone. If a friend if somebody is going to believe that God sent his son into the world to save the world and not condemn the world, that belief is only going to come through the power of God that causes faith to spring up inside their hearts. That is what will make a person believe. The Israelites believe Moses, not because of Moses' power, but because of the power of God that they would see on display through the obedience of Moses. So let me encourage you today, step out in faith, keep doing what you sense the Lord is leading you to do. It's going to be his power at work that convinces others of their need for him. You and I will never ever be able to persuade somebody to give their lives to Jesus. Boy, but God can sway and woo any heart just like that. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.